Now, this wee video goes out to one of the new lads. You know exactly who you are. So I don't have to say who you are. Because you know exactly who you are. Right. When you weren't there to get the peelers to lock me up for toxic lies and stuff that you were telling them. And it was proved out that what you said never happened. When it came to peelers and stuff like that there. You went on into the paramilitaries and tried to get me murdered for something I hadn't said and done. Because what you had done was, you had got another phone and you start sending messages to your own phone, pretending it was me sending you the messages. I was meant to be calling names to the ones that you went to to try and get me killed by, which that was lies. Because you were the ones who were sending the messages from another phone to yourself. That didn't work out for you after you sent paramilitaries to my door and you sent other people to my door. Then your so-called fighting man out of the new lodge kept pushing his luck and pushing his luck and other people along with him. Because I was living on my own and trying to get to see me kids. I couldn't fight with nobody cause we, because you wanted to try and get me put down as violent so I'd be stopped from seeing my own kids. So, with all the death threats went on me and stuff like that there, the social services, Belfast Trust, had stopped me from seeing the kids for the kids' safety because of the death threats went on me because of the lies that you were telling the paramilitaries, which was proved out afterwards, was lies on your side. So then, as I said, to stop me from seeing the kids for their safety, and for mine, obviously, in case there would be a taxi in the kids. And your so-called fighting man then kept pushing his luck. And one morning on the Crumlin Road in the Shankill, anyone that doesn't know, that's where it is. He come at me and he got knocked spark out at the garage. Two wee nurses out of the, out of the matter hospital turned him on his side from kicking. A while later he came, he came to and he was like two men in the wee lad straight to Tennant Street Police Station, which is not far from there. Squealing and crying like the big woman's blouse that he is. That he got beaten up by me and this and that. And oh, the Lord, the biggest Lord of balls ever. He got one right hand hook. Side stepped him outside the garage when he tried to grab me in the headlock. And he got knocked out. So the peelers come along. People had videoed it. And the CCTV from the garage proved that he went to assault me. So I offended myself. So he got left KO and he wasn't going to get nothing done by the peelers. But that was your plan, hoping for me to offend myself and that the peelers would go on your side and you would get me locked up. See, you've got more cameras around your houses and around your flats than Long Cash or McGabry Jail in Northern Ireland ever had because you're a load of touts and rats. Exactly what you are. Wouldn't bait Casey's drum. Many times did you try and get me bet in and out of the pubs where you were from. The pubs that you were from. Not where I was from. The pubs that you were from. How many times did you try and get me beaten up in them when I was drunk? It didn't work. Didn't work. Every time I come out on top and I'm only one man on my own. When your stepfather tried to try to poison me, whatever he put into the drink, and he still couldn't bait me outside the pub. And the bouncer the, the, the night in the new lodge, in the bar, when you got the doorman to try and jump me in the bar, the bouncer got knocked spark out. He got knocked out cold. That's the fucking doorman you have. I tell you what, God help fucking doorman if, the, if that's the best you got. Then when I was training in and out of the boxing clubs, and a club I trained in for years, with some real good men, the fucking Gilip, your so-called fighting man of the new lodge, that got knocked out of the garage with one fucking thump, was in and out of the clubs wanting people to train him when I wasn't in the club training to fight me and all this and that malark. And he got a pure fucking jackass met of himself. Good for nothing, Gilip, would not a brain cell between ye all. It's the drugs and all the the prescribed medication you're taking. That's what's keeping you, you fucking gone. You fucking fools. 
I was living on my own with my fucking head gone over what was going on with my kids and stuff like that there. And you still weren't going to do nothing to me. And you sent several people at different times to a flat that I had to try and do whatever you could to me. They got bit like asses and cars broke on top of them. Bit like asses. And ran out of the place. And you're sending pictures and text messages to other people pretending it was me to try and turn everybody and anybody against me. Didn't work. Didn't work. You were not only a pack of fucking liars. A pack of liars. Sending me all types of messages from all fake pages. Pretending to be this one, that one, do this, do that. Do jack fuck all. And you're saying you got me put out of Belfast because I know exactly what you're capable of saying. See, you wouldn't put the wheelie bin out, not alone get anyone put out. You fucking fools. There's not a brain cell between you all. What are you all known as? I tell you exactly what you're all known as. The rent boys are the new lads. Rent boys. Now imagine that, being called a rent boy. Ye pack of inbred low-life fools. Forty fathers, all old half-brothers. You tried to get me murdered with the paramilitaries. Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't you send fellas to me door one night in a big white car? They got run like dogs as well. And the other fucking Galeep got his two jawbones broke outside the fucking shop on the Antrim Road. He got bet like an ass. The wannabe Rocky, the fella that thought he could train himself. If you could train yourself out to box, why would there be so many boxing clubs all over the fucking place? He was in and out of the club that I trained in for years to get people to fucking train him. Train what? You had no brain to train anything. When you couldn't tie your own laces, how would you teach a cunt how to fight? You were never able to do jack shit to me. Well, I said, one man on his own bet the cunt out you in the streets that you were from. And you weren't there to do fuck all about it. And I, the rest of you, met me in the bar. <coughs> and I full of drink. Used to lick my fucking hole and buy me drink in the bar. Because you knew you weren't going to do fuck all to me. You pack of toting rat bastards. It's still sending the fucking messages and all that piss there. And saying that you get me fucking buried in Belfast. I ready you. How many times did you try that? Good luck with that. And you fucking failed. Didn't. When I got with a wee woman that's not from Belfast. You tried to get her a car. That, that didn't work either. Because you're a fucking. You know what you wouldn't organise? You wouldn't organise a piss up in a fucking brewery. All ye are able to organise is a load of inbred fools. Because that's all ye come from. A pack of schizophrenics. One fucking man, the big jippos you caught me, half killed every one of you, and you weren't going to do jack fuck all back about it. 290 times arrested. For all your fucking lies, you fucking law lives. Now cheerio.